Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, it's been such a long time and we got new birth playing in our background and the unique thing about it is they're going to continue to play and we're going to continue to talk. I'm going to bring the volume down just a little bit because you know as much as I love me some new birth and some stylistics and loves me some Ray Goodman and Cuba Gooding Jr. Goodman Brown. Um, it's just the way it is. We's got some talking to do. I just need to let you guys know, um, as I told you, YouTube was making a, a mad dash towards me to find reasons to get rid of this channel. This time, I'm not going to let them just walk away. We've already got an arbitration award where the wonderful Google was served by the court and they did not show up at the hearing. Now, that means that they did not contest the award. They did not contest the arbitration. They did not contest. They did not contest. Pay attention. They did not contest. That's what I want you all to understand. They don't have a foundation. They don't have a standing. They can't even argue. So that was $10 million. Was it $10 million? No, that was $30 million because it was Google, Alphabet, and YouTube. So that's another one that if I wanted to, and I will be, claiming tax credits. And I'm sorry when I said, and I will be, uh, because I hadn't even considered that one. I was going with the PayPal one because PayPal is a piece of, I mean, work. And along with PayPal's partner company, eBay. I mentioned the other day that I was having a problem with a particular order. I received a response from eBay and basically they were telling me they weren't going to refund my monies back. That they were going to keep my monies even though the other party received their product back. So I wrote that person and I told him, I said, look, we had an agreement. You guys have a policy where you guarantee returns. You back up orders. I said, but if y'all want to play, I don't have a problem. I said, you got 72 hours to return my funds. If not, since we had an agreement... Since I complied with the agreement, since I have a copy of the emails and I have a copy of the audio from speaking with your representatives who documented that the party received their item three days after I shipped it and they sent me the shipping label and they approved of the return and then they contacted your agency saying that I never returned it and you're documenting, checking the UPS label, showing that they did receive it? I said, let's play. I said, but however, this time, since you decided to come at me with attitude in this email, I'm going to make you a party. Ten minutes later, uh, sir, we apologize for any delay and any misunderstandings. Uh, your monies will be refunded within the next 30 minutes and your uh, credit card should be credited within the next 72 hours. Thank you very much for contacting us, and we hope that this experience has not tarnished your idea of blah, 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 blah. Ladies and gentlemen, when it's necessary, I get people's attention. When it's necessary. I don't go after everything immediately because there is no need to rush to do anything. When you rush, you make mistakes. When you rush, you make mistakes. When you rush, you make mistakes. Now look, ladies and gentlemen, some of you guys will get a misunderstanding at some of the comments. If I don't mention your name, then my comment is not meant for you. If I make a comment and you think I'm talking about you because you and I may or may not have had a prior conversation or a recent conversation, that's on you. As I told all of you, if and wins, I want to tell you how I feel, I'll tell you. 
And if you know me, you know that that's the truth. Or as Tevin Campbell would say, the tooth. Okay? So, please stop taking what I said personal. Now, for the idiots out there, they can take everything I say personally. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're working on the new sap packs, and I'm so glad that I took my time and didn't just throw that out there at you all. So glad we're taking our time with the wording and with the information added to the agreement. So glad that we're putting in the offset provisions in the document, creating the trust. Now, everybody keeps asking about, well, I thought you said you were going to put us in the trust. Ladies and gentlemen, the TTOPP trust is the official trust for the SACOM, SICOM, SICOM 911, SICOM LLC. Uh, dang it, I'm sorry, I can't go over all 15 of the corporations. That's the official trust of all the corporations. All the corporations are entrusted, incorporated into that. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking each one of your trusts and registering each one of your trusts because each one of your sat packs are trust agreements. We'll be incorporating this very same into the current Omega and Prime sat packs. My job right now is to keep the costs low. We're trying to make sure that we this last two years ladies and gentlemen has been very hard on people and it's about to be even more hard ladies and gentlemen when we create your trust it's going to be worded in such a way where you put your properties your homes your cars your boats your everything into your trust where you go down and you register it in your trust and you don't need us to do this you can create a trust right now and do this it just won't be associated with the other items that are in this trust so that's what we need to let you know. You know what? I don't know. I'm connected to the internet. I got a full signal. And it might be because I'm downloading something. And that, that might be the problem. Yeah, it's, it's the download because it's actually my download is even going slower. And it's supposed to be faster than that. So let me go take the phone and set it to where it gets a better signal. And we shouldn't have no more interruption with my music. Yes. Time run around each day. All right, these are my girls, y'all. Y'all know who they be. <laughs> See, that's my song, and they're gonna go higher and higher and higher. Okay, they're gonna be back in a second. That's that signal thing. I ain't so happy about the signal thing. Wait a minute, make sure I didn't do anything wrong because I took the phone and put it in a different area. I need, just needed to check it to make sure. We go. I told you they were going to take y'all higher, okay, because that's my girls, okay? And they, they just, they, they're so full of emotion, you know? And it's kind of hard to find groups that are full of emotion, you know, that's why we just have to deal with just the best of their love, okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, the new sat packs with the way the trust agreements are going to be, one of the sat packs will be backed by a surety bond, an actual surety bond with an actual surety company, okay? So if you ever lose it, misplace it, damage it, hey, it's insured, which will also create an extra added value for that instrument because it will be insured for up to fifty thousand dollars just on the paper pay attention just on the paper itself fifty thousand dollars up to fifty thousand I gotta say up to because we are trying to keep the cost low so we have to figure out how we're gonna work that out to where the individuals can choose the value and give them the option of paying into it to increase the value of the instrument um just bear with us we are trying to get it done it is the end of the month and we are sorry everyone you must understand we have been accused by a lot of mindless trolls of trying to take advantage of you all trying to take your monies even some of you have gotten upset because you've assumed and when i say we, 
I'm referring to myself and the organizations I've started. I am not speaking in this video or any of my YouTube videos as representative of those organizations. Now, hold on now. You done heard me say, SACOM is not Eon, Eon is not SACOM, SAA is not Eon, EIA, Eon is not SAA. You've heard me say that because that's the way it is. Now, we've had some attorneys that have come in and said just the opposite. Let me let you ignorant-minded stupid moronic wannabes understand something Ooh, child i'm about to let you know this is ooh child ladies and gentlemen um you don't tell me what my words mean my words are mine they are my property they are my possession my words mean what i intend them to mean now let me let me let me let me explain this see those of you who don't understand what i just said the idiots who think they're attorneys do. In order for somebody to accuse you of fraud or trying to deceive someone, you have to prove intent. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I explain exactly what I mean. I don't need nobody telling me what I mean. I told you I have a real interesting time where people say, oh, so what you trying to say? Look here, mother, I ain't trying to say nothing. I done said what I needed to say. Do you understand? There is no mincing my words. Mincing? Mincing. Oh, that sounds like an interesting word to be used in the conversation. Yeah, like you mince potatoes, mince uh, onions. Yeah, that is, it's a mincing thing. Okay? So what I meant to say was what I meant to say. You ain't gotta sit up there and guess. Because you know what? We'll put it together and we'll get it undone. Okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, getting back to the SAT packs and the Q packs and the Omega pack and the Prime pack and the Plus pack, each one of those items will have their own, uh, let's say, protections. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you think that a piece of paper is going to protect you, you are out of your mind. There are so many things that I want to tell you all, but I can't because the conversations have happened as a result of talking with other people. And I'm sorry about that, but I keep my word. You see, I have a lot of idiots out there who think that I go and tell you guys everything. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't tell you. And even though the information that I'm mentioning, I got from myself originally it's just other people and I have talked, and while talking to them, oh man, I can do that, I can do that. Okay, for instance, this morning we were talking. We were talking about the helping people with their internet fingerprint and internet footprint. And as we were talking, I told my people, I said, one of the members mentioned something about trust, and then they mentioned something, and I said, you know what? I tell you what, why don't we do that for each one of the trust agreements that we have now? I said, and then we can do it for all the previous trust agreements. All the other previous SAPACs. I said, I'm only saying this because I'm just thinking of it right now. Okay, but guess what I can't do? That's company business. Company business is everything in the company is proprietary. I cannot reveal that to you right now. Okay, do you understand what, I, what I'm saying? There are just certain things because... Hey, hey, y'all understand? Because we got some merchants and they're dreaming. Everything. Okay, this is, this is new birth, everybody. That, that's who we're listening to today. Let's, see, what I realize is I can play iHeart now. I don't have to play around with my um, system. And see, what I'm going to do with iHeart is I'm going to put everything in a playlist. But see, this is the old iHeart. This is where I can skip songs. I can skip every single song if I want to. I ain't got to be forced to listen to a song. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, no commercials. That's why you ain't heard a single commercial. Now, here's the thing. I want to make sure you guys understand. If you're going to use a mod version of anything, make sure after you put a mod version of something into your device handheld devices or your phablets or your computer 
that you run a malware scan and a virus scan. By the way, most viruses read as malware and vice versa. So make sure you run a scan so that you ain't got to worry about that. See, what I have done in the past is I used a, um, it's called a virtual desktop. So I'll load it up on the virtual desktop to see if it has any viruses. I used to do that, but now I have virus scanners that will check to see if it has any viruses while it's uploading. And even after it's uploaded, virus scanners that are aggressive that will go ahead and find where the virus has been lodged at. And yes, I've had them in the last week or so. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me let you know about this channel, which is what we started off with. YouTube. Uh, back to, No, we got to take, take care of two things. Sorry. If you're going to get the mod, do the scan. But iHeart, look, ladies and gentlemen, I don't listen to the regular radio. So if I'm driving on a highway, I don't mind having iHeart playing in my background. Okay? And if I have a playlist, then I'm not worried about it being loaded up on their system. You know? And once I get a good signal, I can play without there being an eruption. Okay, that takes care of that. Let's get back to YouTube. What YouTube has done is YouTube went through and they changed my preferences. They took out all of my tags. What are tags? Well, tags are those things that you put into your the background of your system so that when people do a search, let's say they want to search for the word eon. Well, then I put that tag underneath all of my videos and automatically people will get that in one of the recommendations. Let's say one of my videos is about money or debt or mortgages. Well, I have a bunch of tags so that when people are doing searches on that, they will find my channel. It is how I do the advertisement without advertising. It's how most people who have YouTube channels get visibility. That's how most of you found this channel is because of those tags. That's why I say I don't advertise. The people who are looking for this information will find me that I don't have to advertise. Well, YouTube went and they took out all the tags and left it blank. That's why many of you have not, and it took many of you and threw your subscriptions out the door. We had over 300,000 subscribers and now we're only at 24, 25,000 because they deleted most of them. We were at, pay attention to this, we're at a million views. That was way back 2019. Now I'm going to take a look at how many views we got. That's what YouTube has done. So when I went through the system, I saw the tags. And so I reintroduced some tags. I got to finish it. I haven't put in all the tags yet. I put in some of them. I will take care of the rest of that today or tomorrow. I got work to do. As a matter of fact, 12 o'clock, it is 12 p.m. in the afternoon on this Monday. I have things that I have to take care of because I got to get these solar panels up. I can't keep running the generator. That makes no sense. So I got to put the stands for the solar panels up. And because the temperature last night, cold enough to wear uh, be under the blanket or comforter this afternoon cold enough to be walking around with barefoot and t-shirt you follow me so the temperature as i told you guys um step right up okay and see the saddest show in town okay now what's happening is the temperature change is causing me to make some adjustments in my daily schedule it's not about getting up early in the morning or anything like that because it's the temperature change it's not the temperature and many people are misunderstanding that adjusting from 60 degrees in the morning to 102 degrees in the evening that's too wide of a change and my body cannot adjust like yours can adjust so it takes a lot of energy adjusting to that and this energy that I'm not trying to expend it happens automatically as a result of the functions of the body not something that I'm doing intentionally it took a while for us to realize what was going on it took a while for us to realize it was a temperature thing it also took a while for us to realize that the barometric pressure also tends to lead to problems I have a consult that I have to do tomorrow 
but I also have to change the vents on two of the vents that are on this RV uh, just in case because we will in between August and September we will be getting some rain I'm more than positive of that I'm just too close to the ocean there's a hurricane that's going, uh, Enrique, I think it's called, that's coming up uh, Mexico and up that wonderful little Baja, California area. So possibly some of that might come California's way. Don't know, but when that happens, it brings in moisture from the Pacific. I just need to make sure, even if it's a drizzle, that I replace the two vents that need to be replaced. And that's on the roof. And so in the mince time, between now and Friday, I will be I'll be up there tomorrow replacing the vents. And then while I'm up there, I'll be figuring out how I'm going to put the solar panels on the roof and how I'm going to strap and tie them down. I have the items I need to do so. It's just a matter of the labor. So I am working on that. You guys will be updated. I will keep you updated because that's what I do. All right, 203 in the PZM. And see, with the noise you're hearing in the background, if you can't hear it, uh, is the wind blowing. See, we get these these gusts. You know gusts. I mean, I don't met Gustavo. Anyway, we get these gusts. We get these strong bursts of wind. And because we get that, I'm just letting you know, that stuff is something else. Um, finally, ladies and gentlemen, Many of you have communicated with me that you have learned quite a bit as a result. I just turned the volume down. Um, many of you have told me that you've learned quite a bit from these videos and from this man. As I told you, I'm just talking. I'm not doing anything else than talking. If you can benefit from the information, then it served a purpose. With that being said, I'll be putting up another video. It's called Walt The Walter Jenkins Story. Now, Walter Jenkins, there was a politician during Lyndon B. Johnson's period of time named Walter Jenkins. This ain't that Walter Jenkins. There's a different Walter Jenkins, and I think some of you might appreciate the Walter Jenkins story. I've written quite a few stories, and I'm trying to preserve them because they're, on, they're handwritten on paper, and I want to preserve them on video so where we have at least the basics of the story. So, all right, y'all gonna get up and do his thing all right because i can't understand it y'all song is called i can't understand it okay ladies and gentlemen i will be putting that up and my hope is that some of you will appreciate it and it's not that i'm apologizing because some of you won't be able to comment under the videos anymore that's that's not it it's it's a whole lot better of a time if i keep it simple you know because youtube hasn't always been where people left comments underneath every video but now it is and so to protect my interests ain't no commenting it's easier for me to do it that way than for me to monitor every single comment because I, I don't want to be monitoring every single comment. That right there is tedious. So to keep that from happening, I'm just making things easier on myself so that I can make it easier on the rest of y'all. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen, ladies, do it on a good foot. I can't understand it. New birth, everybody. Y'all has a good day, a good life, a good time. And we're going to get on out of here with new birth. Y'all take care.